Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for 19 January is Love That Keeps Giving. I know of a certainty that my Eve loves me by her words, thoughts, actions, and intentions. She speaks thoughtfully, carefully measuring her words with kindness, even when my attitude is less than pleasant. Her reactions are always tempered with consideration for my feelings. Her intentions always have pure objectives without an ulterior motive. She says what she means and means what she says. She is like the wife in Proverbs 31. It says, a wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of his life. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. These words were, were written of my Eve and all godly women centuries after her and before her birth. At times, she is tested and tried by circumstances of life, but she is faithful to her God and her man. This fidelity is the fabric that enables a man to stay the course for her in tough times when he would normally throw in the towel of surrender. When a man and a woman stand together in faith, believing in Christ Jesus, the Most High God stands with them. God created all men. It is written, and God created man, male and female, created he them. And he created us to be godly and pure. It is written, stand still and know that I am God. It is most pleasing to stand with Eve, for she never comes between our God and me. She actually strengthens my walk with our Lord. God instituted all the concepts of a union between a man and woman that glorify God and bless mankind. In my Eve, the woman he gave me, I have the love that keeps giving. Blessings and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Your Kohane. When we realize and understand these things, then we have a full appreciation of all that God does for us and all that he has given us and the plan that we fulfill when we align our will with his and love one another as husband and wife. And also, as we love each other as friends and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus said, In this shall all men know that ye are my servants, that you love one another. So let's love one another, and also husbands love your wives and your children. Uh, for it is written also that in the last days the fathers shall turn their hearts to the children and be concerned about the godliness of the ways of their children. And so let us teach the way of God to those we love and let us be an example as we walk before them. And now we're going to, the song for today is My Cup Runneth Over With Love. Sometimes in the morning When shadows are deep 
I lie here beside you Just watching you sleep And sometimes I whisper What I'm thinking of My cup runneth Sometimes in the evening When you do not see I study the small things You do constantly I memorize moments That I'm fondest of My cup runneth over We both will be old We won't even notice The world turning cold And so in these moments With sunlight above My cup running Amen. That's about as well as it can be said in praise of God and in praise of the woman I love. For God first uh, and for, God, for the woman I love second, lest uh, either one of us steal the glory of God. For God is glorified in our love towards him. And he is also glorified in our love towards one another because that's the way he planned it. And uh, hundreds and, in fact, millions of people are receiving the blessings of marriage uh, through the kindness and the love of the Most High God. He planned it this way. Let's receive it the way he gave it and give thanks for the power of God. And now, my friends, may the Lord even the Most High God be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and may God be with you. We'll see you again soon, God willing.